Hello everyone, welcome to another video tutorial. Today I will show you how to use your own face in Leonardo AI. This is also called a face swap in Leonardo AI, so let's get started. So first of all, what you want to do is, as you can see, we're here on Leonardo AI and we have a bunch of things we can get started with, but what we want to do is we want to create new image here. Now, as you can see, this is text to image generation. What we want is we actually want um, exit out of all of these. And as you can see right here, we have a lot of different things, um, you know, that we can, um, you know, that we can do. So as you can see, image inputs have moved to the image guidance tab. So we can click show me. As you can see, this is the image input. So you can basically go here and um, you can basically click on it. And uh, once I click on it, I can use my image here. I can click open here and this will upload my image. Now, as you see, as you can see, this is my image. It will detect the color pattern and the overall entire look and view of the of an input image. And we will use this to guide your image generation or Leonardo will use this to guide image generation. Now, as you can see, I can put the strength. Um, let's say if a strength is, as you can see, the amount of image guidance applied, higher values will more strongly guide the output. So as you can see, that's the first thing. So you can also add up to four layers of image guidance, which will make your image better looking. You can un unlock this with premium. Now, as you can see, once we have this, I can type the prompt here. So um, I can either roll a dice with a prompt, a uh, new random prompt, for example. Um, let's just take a look with that random prompt and let's see. Um, yeah, so we will need to create a, our prompt as well. So um, you can kind of say, um, you know, a prompt is very specific, so it will be specific to you. Let's say a man in a, a portrait of a man in a suit at a gala party, for example. Let's generate this and let's see what will happen with our image. So we put the strength to 0 0.65 right here, as you can see, you can click generate here again generation history is here. It's currently generating a portrait of a man in a suit. I mistakenly clicked twice. So it will uh, generate me twice as much as I want. Um, basically, it will generate I think four, uh, eight different versions of this image right here, as you can see. And uh, yeah, as you can see, <laughs> it's it's generating the images, it looks a bit weird, to be honest. Um, obviously, the more specific the um, the more specific the prompt is, the better. Uh, mine is very general, so as you can see, we're still waiting for a couple of them. But as you can see, this is one of them. Not that good. Uh, basically, messed up my eyes and messed up a lot uh, when it comes to this. But uh, when it comes to the face, um, but as you can see, obviously, the more the better the image guidance, the better the generation will be. Also, if you opt in for four layers of image guidance, it will be better as well. So if you go here, yeah, it basically, um, it basically did not change a lot, um, as you can see right here. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you can use your own face in Leonardo AI and how you can do face swaps uh, in Leonardo AI. If you have any questions or uh, comments around this, definitely comment down below and I'll make more videos on this. Um, however, We'll see you in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.